A study out this morning finds new evidence that autism begins during pregnancy. Researchers say that brain irregularities in children with the disorder can be traced back to prenatal development. Dr. Melissa Nishawala is the director of autism for the New York University Child Study Center and joins us at the table. Hello, doctor. Good morning. So how were researchers able to reach this conclusion? So they're actually able to take a snapshot into what happened in the brains of children even before they were born. And they did this by looking at actual brain tissue samples. So these are post-mortem samples. This means children died mm -hmm. and families were courageous enough to donate these tissue samples mm -hmm. so that we could understand something very important about autism and how it occurs. What exactly did they find? So the researchers found that the brain cells, when the brain is developing, migrate into layers, like layers of a cake. And so we can see, we know when that happens. It happens in the second trimester. Mm -hmm. So we know that some of the brain cells did not go where they were supposed to all the way back then. Does this impact future treatment, how you'll go about treating this condition? So this helps us understand something very important about autism in that we know that there are places in the brain where cells are supposed to be and they are not. Um, the, the, it's like the pathways are not able to form in the proper way. Um, we've been doing research at NYU that shows that there's a problem in connectivity of the brain. So that means that social centers and language centers and cognitive centers aren't talking to each other in the way that they need to. And the cutting edge of research is looking to what? So really, we're looking to understand why is it that this happens? And so these researchers were able to stain for certain genetic materials, and they're looking at causes. So this will help us start to develop biomarkers, like ways that we know like mm. autism is present, and then understand more about why does it develop. So this is an exciting moment in the this field of This is a very research. exciting moment. And, and so it, once you find that, I mean, what will you do? What, what does it lead to? So the earlier that we can discover autism, the brain is more plastic, the younger the brain more is. More plasticity. More plasticity. And so meaning that we can intervene, and we want to intervene. The frontier of intervention is earlier and earlier and earlier. And so we want, even in that first year of life, to know something so that we can start to change what we do and help mm -hmm. coax and nudge those brain pathways into connections. Great. All right, Dr. Melissa Nishawala, thank you. Thank you. Exciting times.